Hi, um, this blog is in direct response to Jason Ma's first vlog. Um, my name is Deirdre and I follow your blog. I live in Canada. I'm uh, from way up in the north. And um, yeah, I just want to say thank you first of all, Jason, because I've been following your blog for about a year and a half and it's really inspired me over this past year and a half and it's challenged my views and um, just given me a new perspective on a lot of things that I never thought about before. Um, yeah, so just thank you for that. And um, yeah, it's really exciting to read someone who's so active in, about someone who's so active in God's kingdom. And um, so this isn't just a thank you. Um, I do have a question and something that's been weighing on my heart a lot. And I guess I see this kind of call for you kind of asking us to respond to you and asking some questions to you. So I see this kind of as an opportunity, I don't know, from God to just get your opinion on this matter, something that's been really close to my heart. So here we go. Um, all right, so how do I... <laughs> all right, so over the past, I guess, two years, year and a half, year, whatever, um, I'd say over the past six months to a year, I've been um, following an organization called uh, Voice of the Martyrs and it's really impacted my life and I've been um, very challenged by what they do. Um, Voice of the Martyrs reports on the persecuted church around the world and just shares their stories that are untold and um, it's quite intense, I'm not going to lie, to see what's going on in the world with our brothers and sisters and uh, it's definitely a call to prayer. Um, so with all this information, and as I hear a lot about China and East Asia and um, those countries, North Korea, just as my heart has kind of gone in that direction and God has kind of given me like a passion for those places and those people, um, I've been reading a lot about specifically like uh, the Chinese church. Um, Paul Hadoui just released a book called Ch China, China's Book of Martyrs, and reading Brother Yoon's testimony and... Um, various books that have come out of there. It's been um, humbling, to say the least, to see what our brothers and sisters have suffered in the face of the gospel and for the cause of Jesus Christ. And I guess what I'm trying to say is, in my own life and in my own church, I've been really, really challenged by these books. And But I see this imbalance, this discrepancy between our own churches and... Um, these brothers and sisters out there in the world, it, it seems like the North American church is, is probably to preaching more along the lines of this message, which is, I must say, it's not untrue, most of it, with this idea that God loves us. I do believe that's the premise for the Bible, and God has called us to be in relationship with Him, which is also very, very true. But then there's these other things that seem to come along with it, that God desires to pour His blessings on them, on us, um, that we are His beloved children, that we are free from sickness and suffering and that we have the right to call and expect anything from the, within the name of Jesus and yeah like I don't know about you but I have just with those two different views I can't seem to balance the two together because on one hand I, I read these stories and I, I hear these testimonies just of brothers and sisters around the world who are suffering terrible, terrible things for Jesus Christ and in the name of Jesus Christ and um, yeah, knowing that they aren't, even though they're suffering persecution, knowing that they aren't separated from the love of God, like it's so clear in Romans 8 that nothing can separate from the love of God, right? Um, but at the same time, we as a, a North American church, and I'm not saying all churches, I shouldn't generalize and I apologize if I do, uh, I'm not saying all churches, but I'm just saying several prominent North American churches and occasionally my church um, has said things along the lines of just that seem to conflict with this view of persecution and suffering because yeah Jesus does say we will be hated by the world because they hated him as well he does say in Romans 8 that we are co-heirs but he says also we are co-heirs in his suffering as well as his glory um, and I just see this leaning towards like this idea of blessings and healings and um yeah good things 
But on the other hand, on the other side of the world, it's almost disgust for material things and for blessings because like we're supposed to glory in the sufferings of Jesus Christ and consider it an honor to suffer in his name, right? And I just feel like we've lost that. And I don't know, in my heart, I'm just really trying to find the balance between both. And yeah, that's, um, that's my question for you, I guess, is have you ever thought about this before? Um, and do you have any opinion? Do you have any wisdom that you'd like to share on this topic? Any theology? I am just a very humble servant of Christ, and I don't want to have the answers. That's why I'm asking these questions and praying a lot <laughs> for wisdom from God. Um, I really, really need it. And, yeah, just trusting in the Lord and leaning out on my own understanding. Um, but I do believe God answers our questions, right? So, please get back to me if you have a chance. I understand you're very busy as well. I really appreciate it though. If we could just even inform some blog, some discussion to go on, because I think these are issues that are very relevant to like our culture and many young people struggle with I hope and the things that are on their mind as well. All right, thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day. God bless.